Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So what today, are y'all tired of blushes? Okay, because clearly the beauty community is not. These brands are releasing blush after blush after blush and we have more blushes coming, okay? Just stay tight, okay? Because I'm going to make sure that you are gonna make an informed decision that's best for you and your liking. So today, we have the new Makeup by Mario Pop Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veils. I have all six shades, so I'll be sharing with you what they look like on my complexion, showing you uh, a few different ways that you can apply the products and tell you the best way to apply it to get the most pigmentation. Of course, share with you my thoughts as to who I think these blushes will work best for and do some comparisons, cause you know, there's other formulas out there. We got to see who is who and what does what. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So these new soft pop plumping blush veils do retail for $30. Like I said, we do get six shades. They are available at Sephora right now. And I do believe you can pick them up in your local Sephora's some of them, maybe not all of them. Um, there, some of them are in my local Sephora, some are not, so they are available there. So this is a weightless cream blush that is made with hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump skin with a sheer veil of color. Let's stop right there. Mario said, we're gonna get a sheer veil of color. Okay, so if that's what the brand owner said, that's what we should expect, right? Right, so it's also going to have pearlescent pigments that will create a subtle luminous finish. This formula is going to um, enhance the cheeks with the dewy finish. It is going to be a non-comedogenic blush that will grip the skin while the pearlescent pigments are gonna create a luminous finish for the perfect no makeup makeup effect. All right, so let's get into the demonstration. So here we have the shade called barely blushing. This is described as a natural flush to the cheek. Now this shade I did not think was gonna show up on me at all. It was not one of the original shades that I wanted. I actually was kind of surprised. This showed up pretty okay against my complexion. Like you can see it and it's definitely one of those blushes that I would wear legitimately for a no makeup makeup look. Um, I'll do a swatch here so you can just see it again against my arm. So that is the shade called Barely Blushing. And I was like, okay, this shade, of course, because it is so light, um, it did not build to a like, you know, more intense pigmentation. But I will say with this formula, this is a cream balmy for formula. So if you have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming product, same formula, it's just pigmented with different shades. Um, and I'll get into that just a little bit later. So this shade definitely can build. All of these shades can build in intensity. You saw me apply it with my fingers and I would say use your fingers if you want like a really light diffuse veil of color, like literal sheer veil of color. I went in with a flat dense brush. So it was the My Kit Co, the My Domed Multi Brush. This is the 0 0.13 brush. I just wiped this brush off, but this is the brush that I use to apply the rest of the blushes on my cheeks. This is a synthetic flat denser brush. And I do feel like I got more pigmentation from using a brush. So it, from the demonstration initially, I was like, okay, I will use a brush when it comes to these products because I like that. However, I went in with my Danessa Myricks Puff right before I filmed this video because I've had this makeup look on for quite some time and I'll tell you toward the end of the video how the blush is held up, but I wanted to apply more of the blush. Went in with this puff. This is the most pigmentation that I have gotten from fingers, brush, and now puff. So if you have a puff, Danessa Myricks is the one that I love, but there's tons of puffs out there. I think the puff gives us the most pigmentation. So I will put that out there, especially if you're going in with these lighter tones, depending on your complexion. And if you're like me and you like for your blush to show, cause I like a pigmented blush, I would say go in with the puff. That has been the one that gave me the most pigmentation on the cheeks. Okay, next shade that I went in with is called Rose Crush. And this shade is described as a spiced 
rose type of shade. Now this was one of the shades that I originally wanted. This reminds me of Danessa Myrick's Rose and Brunch and that is by far like been one of my favorite shades to wear this year. It's just a beautiful kind of like mauve toned neutral blush that tends to just go with any type of look. Like it's just I don't know what you have on your face, but I'm going to go with it. So I really do like this tone. This is one of the deeper shades from Makeup by Mario in this particular collection. And I would say the first shade, uh, Barely Blushing. I think this is, this is going to work best for complexions that are lighter to maybe... Um, medium i mean i'm not a medium complexion i i fall more in the tan complexion but if this is going to show up more pigmented i think it will work best for those complexions this shade here called rose crush i think can work for complexions that are a few shades deeper than me and not just be a tint on the cheek but actually show up as a blusher um, a more prominent blusher and like i said i like for blush to show so do keep that in mind when i'm talking about blushes and how they look i'm thinking about the blush showing on the cheek and not just literally being a tint okay next we have pinch me pink this is also one of the shades that i wanted to get because i just like pink that's one of my favorite colors um pinch me pink is going to be a pale pink shade so this is going to be a cooler toned pink shade and this shade did show up i think it showed up quite nicely against my cheeks i think this falls along the lines of that kind of icy um cooler toned pink phase that has been blowing up everywhere lately um and so i think this one is really nice too i think this particular shade is going to work well for complexions up to i would say up to tan depending on the undertone of your skin and how you like your blushes to show um this is definitely a shade that i would wear if i have more of a cooler tone neutral look and i want kind of like that barbie poppy pink look i would definitely reach for this shade perfect pink now this they're describing as a cool pink tone and this was a shade that i was like mm, i need that in my life um and this is more pigmented than um, Pinch Me Pink. Well, not pigmented, but deeper in its tone. So this is going to be a pink that I think will work for deeper complexion. So if you are a few shades deeper than me, then Perfect Pink is going to show up on you much better than Pinch Me Pink will. Let me get closer so you can see. So this shade, uh, Perfect Pink, will show up on deeper complexions better than pinch me pink in terms of it not being like flush of color on the cheek a little bit more color on the cheek the shade that i'm wearing on my cheeks now which is called just peachy now for me i need a coral blush in the summer like those are the blush tones that i wear because i think they just look most complimentary against my complexion especially when i get a tan and that is just peachy and this is described as a peachy coral beautiful you can see it again on my cheeks now just beautiful and like i said using a puff gave me the most pigmentation i think this shade will work once again up to a few shades deeper than me um anything deeper than that i think it will just be a flush on the cheeks because mario does have pictures of the shades against different complexions on his website and so you can see them on deeper complexions but it literally just looks like a hint of color and then lastly the deepest shade is going to be berry punch and this is described as a soft plum shade and here is berry punch and of course because this shade is going to be deeper a little more rich then it will be able to go down the complexion shade range more than these five shades here so here is up close look at all of the shades from makeup by mario soft pop plumping blush veils now when i first saw these names and i like when I was taking them out of the packages, I was like, we got a lot of pink here. And I am never one to complain about pink because I love pink. Um, I think these shades are really pretty, but I think Mario could have definitely expanded this shade range, made it more complexion friendly. I'm gonna move her a little bit so you can see. Like we didn't need this shade, this shade, and this shade, right? And even these two shades, we could have like made them a little more distinctive 
um, so that we could have had just a fuller range of tones that would work better for a fuller range of complexions. Because if I'm being honest, you know, all of these shades are not gonna work for all complexions out there. However, what saves these cream blushes is that he did not intend for them to be tones that would be highly pigmented on the cheeks. He created them to be a sheer veil of color, which is why I said stop, let's listen and pay attention. So with that in mind, and because of that reason, these shades, I do believe, will be able to work for more complexions with a sheer veil of color. But if you are someone who's like, I like my blush to pop, and you wanted to, you know, get more of these shades, then they're potentially on your complexion. They may not pop the way that you want them to. Um, the person who has a lighter complexion is going to get the most wear and these blushes will be seen more against their complexion versus someone like me or even deeper. Because even when you saw them against my complexion, you can see them. But for instance, these two side by side, you could see a slight difference, but you know, it wasn't too much of a difference. Um, or if I was just wearing this blush shade, barely blushing, and then um, perfect, no, pinch me pink, these just look like the slightest hint of color on my cheek with like that beautiful dewy finish. Um, so those are just some critiques that I have, but once again, knowing how Mario intended to make these blushes, I do believe that he achieved what he wanted. And for that, I can't criticize too much. I can't give too much correction because he intended them to be a sheer veil of color. Um, so those are my initial thoughts of them. Now, I put these blushes on today around 11 something in the morning. It is currently now after nine o'clock at night, so over nine hours. And when I sat down to begin to film this video, the blushes that I had on were starting to wear away. So I would say that this formula is not the longest lasting formula. However, you can extend the wear of these blushes by doing a couple of things. Number one, I would just say go in and set them. Mm -hmm. Set them with a powder, either a setting powder or you could set them with a, another type of powder blush just to kind of extend the wear. And that's how Mario suggests that you wear the blushes if you want the blush to pop. So he said if you want, you know, want to put on berry punch but you want this color to kind of pop top it with a powder plum base shade and it will make the shade pop or intensify the powder shade so you can do you can set these uh, with powder to make them last all day i didn't set mine with powder because i just wanted to see how long do these last um, especially because the formula is supposed to grip the skin and so I think for the balminess of the formula, they lasted pretty well throughout the day. Like I think I could get through like a basic work day, but these are not gonna be those types of products that are gonna get you, you know, nine plus hours throughout the day um, and things like that. They are more sheer and because of that balmy formula, it's going to be easier for the skin to absorb the product and not be as prevalent on the skin, you know, five plus hours later. Going to his soft sculpt formula. Now, mine is so beat up because this is like what I tore up last summer. I could not get enough of this product. I wear the shade medium dark. And the way that I treat this product is I use it as a bronzer. So just to like swatch it so you can see formula wise, it is the same formula as these blushes. It's just, you know, that bronzer or some people use this product as like a base. Um, so it's that same formula. So if you were wondering if the formula was the same, yes. So if you tried this formula and you didn't like it, you may not like it in the blush form unless you like a dewy blush. And that could be it. Cause if you, if you were using this as a bronzer, maybe you wouldn't like that dewy or bronzer look, but you might like it in a blush formula. So that is that. Now let's get into some comparison. So a fair comparison, because I have a comparison here that is completely not fair, but a fair comparison is with the Merit Blush Balms. So this formula is balmy, very much similar to the Makeup by Mario blushes. This is the shade called Apray. 
I want to, I think I said that right. I pray. I hope I said that right. Um, and I'm going to swatch it right here next to Berry Punch. If I get that. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to add a couple of layers so we can see the intensity. So with the Merit blushes, although they are a balm formula, you can really build the intensity of those. As you saw, I just applied a few different layers and you can definitely get a nice intensity of the Merit blushes. I have another shade here that I'll show you. This shade is called Persimmon. And it looks like so. The shade that I had before is a mini size. And I'll put Persimmon next to um, Rose. What's the shade called? Rose Crush. Here we go. So here we go. So this is Persimmon by Merit. And this is Rose Crush by Makeup by Mario. So once again, you can build up the Merit blush to be pretty pretty intense my recommendation for applying these blushes is to you can apply them straight to the cheeks if you want to but i think it's better if you take a brush swirl it in your in the product and then apply it because you can get more pigmentation and i do think that these last actually pretty well throughout the day i would say that these can get you through a work day too um, depending on how you like the formulation, you can set it or not set it, but I do think these will last longer if you set them with powder. Um, just because of that balmy texture, that's not going to always last the longest, especially when it's a little more dewy, like how these are. But I would say that if you felt like you didn't have a shade in Makeup by Mario, maybe check out Merit because there might be a shade there for you that you like either better or that you feel could work better for your complexion. Um, and especially too, if you want a little bit more intensity of color, but you still like the idea of having like a balmy, uh, blush. I think the Merit ones are beautiful. Um, another one that I think could work for you, I haven't done reviews yet of these, but the Yensa blushes. These are the Yensa Silk Cream Blushes. I have all eight shades. I'm gonna get footage up. I gotta get footage up because these are really great blushes. So they are a cream formula. They're not a balmy formula, but they're a cream formula. But they are buildable in the pigmentation, so that's why I'm comparing comparing them to the Makeup by Mario. So this is Vibrant Coral, and we can compare it to the Just Peachy shade. Even though Makeup by Mario's is like a peachy coral, we can still compare it there. So um, this is the Yensa Vibrant Coral shade. And as you can see, really beautiful payoff. Now, because this is a cream for formula and not balmy, this is gonna last more on the skin. Um, but you still get that really pretty dewier finish, like luminous finish. So this is not um, a totally matte formula. It's gonna have some luminosity to the skin. Here's a shade by Yensa called uh, Peachy Sunset. I will swatch it next to the Peachy Coral shade by um, Makeup by Mario. So this is Makeup by Mario's. And then here is Peachy Sunset by Yensa. So, you know, not the same shade, but depending on what you're looking for in a blush, once again, more pigmentation just because it's a cream formula. Um, a couple more that I want to swatch here is Whisper Nude from Yensa. I'll compare this to the Barely Blushing shade by Mario. So just trying to compare like similar tones, if you will. I know that they're not identical. So here we go. Here is the nude shade from Yensa and the Makeup by Mario's shade is right here. So like I said, I know that they're, you know, not the same at all. I'm not trying to say that they are the same, but just showing you different tones. Here's Radiant Rose by Yensa. I'll put this in between Pinch Me Pink and then Perfect Pink. So right here, because I feel like it might fall in between these two shades, right there. So, oh yeah, actually this shade by Yensa um, looks very similar to Makeup by Mario's Perfect Pink color. So yeah, and then lastly, there is a Berry Passion shade right here. Um, and I'll swatch it next to Berry Punch from Makeup by Mario. If I have, okay, so here is Berry Punch by Makeup by Mario, and I'm gonna put the Yensa shade right here. 
So really beautiful shades and tones that Yenta has. And once again, it's a cream formula. It's not balmy, so it's going to last longer on the skin. I've worn these before too, and they do last very well on the skin. Um, but you still get that luminous glow to the cheeks um, without losing that. Because you know, sometimes that's what people want, but you want a formula to last longer or, be, or maybe a little bit more pigmented. So I feel like Merit and Yensa are good blushes that I have that will give you kind of the same effect, but maybe last a little bit longer on the skin and or have better pigmentation than the Makeup by Mario ones. Um, and not saying that the Makeup by Mario ones are bad, I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just trying to provide options for you just in case you were like, I like the idea of the Makeup by Mario ones, but it's not gonna give me what I need because of my complexion or just preferences, you know, cause you might be someone with a lighter complexion, but you're like, I don't want a veil of color. I want real, you know, nice intensity. Now what's a not fair comparison? And if you know me, you already know what I'm gonna say. Danessa Marek's Balm Powder Flushed. First of all, we're dealing with two different formulas because although Danessa Marek's is a balm, it's a powder and it's a matte formula. So it's not a dewy formula. Um, these things are amazing. You can use these on the cheeks and the lips. Now these will last you all day, sun up to sundown. It has the chemical in it called Upsilite. It's gonna help to absorb oils. So you get that really beautiful, flawless, perfected look to the cheeks. So that's why I said this is an unfair comparison because first of all, the overall finish is gonna be a soft matte formula, not a dewy formula, which is the finish of the Makeup by Mario ones. Um, but the reason why I'm comparing it is because number one, I know somebody's gonna ask me and because they're both balmy, right? Like balm powder. It doesn't have balm in the name, but we know that this is more of a balmy formula. So I've done an extensive review on these balm powder flushes, and I will just quickly swatch some tones if you're just like, let me see tone by tone. Um, so here we go, Makeup by Mario's uh, Berry Punch and Balm Powder. This is in the shade Dancing Queen. I mean, now pigmentation. <sighs> We don't need to say nothing else. Pigmentation is off the chain too, okay? So like, but the beautiful thing about these bone powder flesh products is that if you do want a tint of color, I mean, literally, like you can take that much and just shear it out on your cheeks or on your lips. And now you've got like a beautiful fail, fail, veil of color with this product. So if, like I said, if you don't really care about having a dewy finish or a matte finish, but you just want that like kiss of color on the cheeks, but you want it to last all day long, you can do that with Bone Powder Flush. Just go in with very minimal product, blend it out. It blends effortlessly into the skin. Bellini, cause that might be closer to Makeup by Mario's Just Peachy shade or like, somewhat similar. No, it's not gonna be just the same. So here is Makeup by Mario's, just peachy shade here. I don't have any more space, so I'm gonna try to do it up here. So here is Danessa's just um, Bellini shade, and then Makeup by Mario's shade is right here. So definitely not the same, but once again, just giving you options if you're someone that's looking for those tones, but you just want more pigmentation. My absolute favorite shade that I did not think it would be from these bone powder flushes, Rose and Brunch. Honey Child, the most, the most shade I've used from these. Um, I think Rose and Brunch is going to be similar to Mario's Rose, uh, what was it called? Rose Crush shade. So I'm gonna put, here we go. I'm gonna try to put it right here. So this is Danessa's Rose and Brunch. And then Makeup by Mario's Rose Crush Shade is right here. So Danessa's Rose and Brunch, Makeup by Mario's is right here. And they actually are kind of similar, if you will. Both of them I describe exactly the same. If I don't know what shade to wear and I wanna blush, um, and I wanna use these balm powder flushes, Rose and Brunch is the shade that I go for every single time like hands down works every single time and it never fails um so 
Those are my swatches comparisons. I hope that this information really does help you to make a decision that's best for you. We have so many blushes coming out. So I really think if you are on the hunt for some blushes or if you're just like, I love blushes, I wanna get some new ones, but like there's so many coming out. Number one, I will be doing a comprehensive video comparing all the new ones that have come out. But two, just think about the formula you want. Think about how you want it to look on the cheeks um, and, you know, intensity of color, things like that. If you don't mind a pop of color on the cheek or just a nice veil of color, you want a dewy finish, then I would definitely recommend these Makeup by Mario blushes. Like, I know I will be using them this summer and knowing me, I'm gonna be combining Danessa Myricks with Makeup by Mario's because if I want that dewy glow on the cheeks, I know I'm not gonna get it from Balm Powder Flushed, but I can add either Makeup by Mario's on top because I forgot to mention this, but you can put these over powder and it does blend really beautifully over powder. So I could lay down a more pigmented blush, add Makeup by Mario's on top to give like a really beautiful luminous finish to the cheek. These are gonna be beautiful. So I do not think this is a terrible product or waste of a product. I think it's just based on how you wanna use the product um, and if it can fit into your lifestyle. So I definitely would recommend these wholeheartedly. I was very happy that I was able to make it work against my complexion, that I was able to see them. I love this like glossy, juicy, like I've been drinking water look to my face. I put on no highlighter today. I did not put down a liquid illuminator. I didn't even go in with like my dewy primer that I normally do. So this glow that you see on the cheeks is probably coming from his foundation that I'm wearing. Um, if you're interested, I'm wearing shade 17 in. And then also his cream blush. I did put on his uh, sculpt as well. Um, so we got, you know, a lot of juicy goodness going on here. But I think this is a beautiful product and I do recommend it wholeheartedly because I think he achieved what he wanted with this product. And I do and I do believe that because they are more sheer in formula, that is what helps this product work for more complexions. I finished filming and I completely forgot to tell you all what shades are my favorite? Like if I only had to pick one shade, because one of you all already asked me and was like, hey, we're shade twins. If I only wanted to get one, which one would you get? And if I only had to choose one, just going by the shades of blush I've been loving to wear lately, I would probably choose Rose Crush. Once again, this is that neutral kind of like, I don't have to think about it, shade that works no matter what look I have and it's beautiful against the skin. However, if I had to get two shades based on the summer months, I'm also going for just peachy because these are the tones that I love to wear in the warmer months and that's what I have on my cheeks. So these are the two shades I see myself reaching for like time and time again out of the six shades that he has. So I hope you find that helpful. I already shared with you in the Balm Powder Flush what my favorite shade was, Rosé and Brunch. Oh, I almost, oh shoot, I nicked it. Oh well. Rose and Brunch is my go-to shade from the Balm Powder Flush. But in addition to that, the other two shades that I cannot stop using, Bellini and Golden Hour. Like if these three shades, let me tell you, this is Golden Hour. Cannot stop using them. I love the other shades too, but like these be the three shades I go for. Yensa, um, I have not worn these nearly as much as I've worn the Bone Powder Flush. So I, the shades that I have worn that I've really enjoyed is Whisper Nude. Whisper Nude, I think is really beautiful. Vibrant Coral, no, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. Moody Mauve. I didn't, I didn't swatch Moody Mauve. Oh, you know what? I didn't swatch Moody Mauve and this one looks like it might be similar Oh, yes. Okay, while we're here, let me just do this. Moody Mauve by Yensa and then Mario's Barely Blushing. So I didn't wiped off my swatches. So here's Mario's Barely Blushing and then Yensa's Moody Mauve. Are they similar? They are kind of similar, but you do see more intensity of color from Yensa's. So I've worn Yensa's shade and it looks beautiful on the skin. Um, but I would say Vibrant Coral for sure from Yensa and then, um, what's that one? Moody Mob. No, Whisper Nude. Whisper Nude. Those would be my two shades from Yensa. So 
hopefully you find that helpful, especially if you're like, I'm not getting all the blushes. I completely understand. So if you do have other questions about these products, leave them down below. I'd love to help, you know, help you figure out which ones would be best for you. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear all of that down in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.